I'm joined by seniors Lexi Laurendine and Kendall Platt of the MC volleyball team. Uh, ladies, thanks for joining me. Thanks, hey, for, having thanks for having us. Yes, of course. So last weekend you guys traveled to Pensacola on Friday, take on West Florida, lost the three setter. It was a close one. Couldn't quite get over the hump. Talk a little bit about that match. Oh, uh, <laughs> I think that was um, a really tough mental game for us because, you know, we came off of a big win against West Florida the last time we were at home. And I knew, we all knew going into their place was going to be kind of a dog fight. We knew they were going to come out strong and they weren't going to let us have anything easy. Um, we knew they were going to have a lot of students, like fans there and stuff, much like we did. Uh, and I think it got to us a little bit more on the mental aspect of it. So it was just something that we learn from and we are mm -hmm. going to be able to overcome next time we see them. Mm -hmm. I definitely think that we played well at certain points of the game, but there are a couple little dips and I don't know if that was the fan base or if that was just playing at West Florida because we knew that they were going to come out swinging because yeah. they had wanted revenge mm -hmm. for a while. Mm -hmm. um, but I think we did a good job of focusing on the high points and we're going to take those high points into this next weekend. Yeah, absolutely. You guys were able to bounce back against Auburn Montgomery um, the next day. Uh, getting the victory there. Um, both of you guys have been here for five years. Um, it, it's been a long, long career for both of you, uh, both in the record books uh, and respective categories. You know, talk a little bit about you know how you guys were able to be so successful individually. Um, I think that just focusing on different aspects of volleyball. Mm -hmm. So, like for me, my blocking has never been very good. So I really tried to focus on that, and then I feel like the other things sort of fell into place a little bit better. And being a good teammate as well, like always being there for people and trying to encourage others as well also helps because when you have a good community and a good environment, you grow as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I agree, especially with like the different aspects of volleyball too. Um, as a setter, our defense is not always that great. Mm -hmm. So just kind of uh, being able to focus on that a lot in practice over the last few years and like kind of getting out of my comfort zone uh, has been really good and really successful for mm -hmm. us especially and being here for so long. Mm -hmm. um, we've been forced to get out of our comfort zone, whether that's just playing in different positions or uh, in practice, even in games sometimes, <laughs> or mm -hmm. uh, just situations like that. Yeah, so. absolutely. And in the five years, the program has grown a ton. Um, you came in and uh, under 10 win season that first season and now you guys are up to 20 wins. Talk about the growth of the program and the impact you guys have been able to make in it. Um, honestly, it's been like so just amazing to see happen. Like uh, it's been a total team effort. Um, we've had lots of different players come in and out over the past few seasons. So it's just kind of been very an interesting almost like roller coaster to watch. Mm -hmm. You guys see that in every program, I think. Um, but I feel like this year especially, uh, we've just created such a good culture and a good environment to be a part of. Uh, we've probably harped on it so many times. Just our team chemistry has been so amazing this year. Like we all genuinely love each other mm -hmm. and like care for each other and want each other to do well um, in any aspect, whether that's on the court, off the court. Mm -hmm. And just kind of building that from our freshman year where we had 12 freshmen and now it's <laughs> the two of us mm -hmm. kind of mm -hmm. left. So it's been really cool to see just like watch Kendall grow and like mm -hmm. watch me grow and watch everyone else around us grow and build a program with us as well. Mm -hmm. so. I think that kind of goes back to the community aspect of it too is that I don't feel like there's anyone who doesn't want us to succeed. Like each person believes in each other and that is such a great feeling. Mm -hmm. And to know that like my teammates have my back no matter what, whether that be in volleyball, school, whatever aspect of my life, I know that they're there for me. And mm -hmm. so I think that overall community has really helped us to grow as a program as well. Yeah, you guys are entering your last home stand of your career here. So let's reflect a little bit. Uh, what's your guys' favorite memory uh, for MC? Mine would have to be moving to West Florida. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> It's yeah. hard to beat that. <laughs> yeah, it is. That was just such a a high. Mm -hmm. Like, just the fans that were there, our team overall, just like the entire energy of that whole game, all five Absolutely. sets. Like, we knew we could do it, and it was just kind of like proving to everyone else, like, mm -hmm. this is what we are. Like, this is who we are. This is what we've become. So And we've been close before, so yes. to actually do it felt yeah. amazing. Our yeah. freshman year, when we took them to five mm -hmm. at home, mm -hmm. And at their place, I'm pretty sure. There was one, I think it was the, mm -hmm. So that was just like we knew like each year we could do it mm -hmm. and just kind of finally proving that like that was, yeah. Like I got chills just thinking about uh, that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so looking ahead, tomorrow you guys have Huntsville in the Coliseum. Uh, you took them to five and beat them at their place early in the year. 
and then uh, the day before that lost to Montevallo in three. How are you guys going to look to m bounce back against Montevallo? Uh, I think just a uh, big mental game with that one too. Like we went into their place, it was kind of their conference opener with mm -hmm. us and we just, I don't know, it was more of like a, once we were downhill, it was all downhill kind of from there and we just couldn't get back up on top. And I think just going into it with a strong, like a steady mental game, a very consistent energy overall is just gonna help us out. Mm. And as you said, it was their conference opener. So I think that's where like everyone had a little bit of the jitters. So now that we've gotten that out of our system and we know how we can play, I think it's gonna be a lot easier to play our game because we know the level of play that we're capable of. So the GSC tournament coming in, uh, what you, what's your mindset going in? It's, it's in a couple of weeks, you have a little bit of time, you know, one game at a time, you gotta complete these last two regular season games, but the GSC tournament is right around the corner. What is that mindset going in? Um, pretty good, honestly. We've never been uh, seated this high going into mm -hmm. con like our conference tournament, and we still have, there's still like room for error for mm -hmm. some teams. Um, so we just gotta kind of focus on these last two games first, but going into it, I think we're pretty all feeling pretty good. Like I know I am. I'm feeling like we have a very, very good chance to win our conference. Mm -hmm. Like I've never felt so confident in our team like this. Mm -hmm. So, and I think that also going into the tournament, like being such a high seed, we know that we can do it. So yeah. it's there, and the opportunity is there, and so we just have to play our game because that's honestly I think our biggest downfall is when we don't play our game. Mm -hmm. yeah. The Choctaws are in action tomorrow at 6 p.m. against Huntsville and Friday at 6 p.m. against Montevallo.